Good morning everyone, I am Akanksha from Bhartiv International School and today I am here to make you a little more creative while making homemade soap. So I guess you must be thinking, why to make homemade soap? Why not we go for the market soap, isn't it? So let me tell you, if I talk about homemade soap, so it contains uh, natural ingredients and if I talk about market soap, so they are usually um, scented with chemicals. So I prefer to go with the handmade soap. So I guess in this summer camp, you all are done with so many activities. Like I guess you are, uh, you are done with uh, crafty pots, some crafting, some cooking. So uh, now let's do something uh, unique. Uh, so uh, we are going to uh, prepare a homemade soap. So everyone, let's start together as I'm going to prepare a homemade soap. So first of all, I'm going to make a rose soap, which makes your skin more beautiful, more relaxing and more glowing. So before going further, I would like to share some ingredients uh, which will help you to make a rose soap. So uh, let me show you. So the very first thing which I have taken for the preparation of a rose uh, soap, I have taken this a bunch of roses over here and I have also taken some roses which I have kept in a bowl as you can see this now I'm going to tear these petals you can also do the same like I'm tearing up all the petals rose petals you can tear it up I have taken five roses and you can take as per your wish but at least you should require three to four roses. Just simply tear the petals. So uh, only one more rose is uh, left over here and I am tearing this also. Tear the petals. You can see these roses, they are from my garden and they are very beautiful. You can see the color. They have a beautiful color. Now, now I have teared up all the petals. See? Now, and second ingredient, I'm going to take this aloe vera drip. I'm going to use this also, aloe vera gel. And the third ingredient which I'm going to take is this. This is Fuller's Earth. We can say Multani Mitti. This is Fuller's Earth, Multani Mitti. Two spoon we need. And we are going to take this also, rose essence. And the most important, this, this one, this soap, tear soap. I have taken this as uh, in the market, soap base is not available. So we can use this, tear soap. It uh, contains 98% of glycerin and it is a pure soap. So we can use it uh, easily uh, while making a homemade soap. And it cleanses the dirt, oil from the skin. And it keeps your skin healthy and glowing also. Uh, so, uh, so now let's start. First of all, we'll make a puree of uh, these uh, petals. From these rose petals, we are going to uh, prepare a puree. So, you need to grind this. First, uh, sanitizer. You know, as this in COVID-19, it's very important to be uh, safe. So, um, I'm putting this now. So, uh, I'm taking this grinder, 
this and taking all the petals, putting all the petals inside it and you can also do it like this step by step we'll move forward so i have kept all the petals in this uh, grinder and i'm going to grind it uh, now i'm going to uh, place this grinder into this and now uh, let me check hmm it's better you can also uh, put water inside it one spoon or uh, two spoon if you don't want to put water inside it you can also put rose water inside it it's your choice as I uh, put rose water it's uh, your choice if you want to put water you can put if you want to put rose water then you can also put rose water and uh, I guess I need to put a drop of water also so let me put. that's it now again I'm fixing it let me uh, mix it mix it well make a, a smooth puree of it make a smooth puree of it so now our puree is done and we need to you can see this we need to transfer this puree in a bowl i have taken a bowl and a spoon and i'm transferring this puree in a bowl See, its fragrance is like it's very soothing. So, here we have a puree. Let me put this grinder aside. So, now you can see this, this red color. Not exactly a red color little pinkish also see the color it's lovely now i'm keeping this also aside now we need a grater now i'm taking this grater and a pure soup which is very mild i'm opening this wrapper let's grate it we need to grate this so so by this only we will be able to make uh, the further proceedings so let's start if you wish like then you can also cut make it half then you can use it but uh, i'm thinking to use this completely so let's grate this So, after grating this, it will become easy for us to melt this. Otherwise, you will fi uh, find it little difficult while melting. You can see, like this we need. You can grate it. Okay. So, we will grate it little more. see it's very gentle very mild 
this soap uh, makes your skin uh, well hydrated and beautifully fresh so I guess no no this much is not enough we need to grate it little more so just grate it I think this much is done for the preparation of a one soap you can see this see we have done with this now keep this also aside and take our induction or a gas as I am comfortable with the induction so I am taking the induction and if you want to uh, use gas you can also use your gas but on a medium flame so uh, I have placed the induction over here and I am going to take I am going to do a double boil the soap so I have taken a handi for uh, this uh, you can see the level of the water it should be uh, this much and now we'll switch on the induction I'm switching on the induction and setting up the temperature and put taking a bowl and transferring a grated soap now I'm transferring this grated soap into a bowl. See, it's looking very lovely. You can see this, Anna. And now I'm transferring it. Complete grated soap, pure soap, which is very mild and gentle, into it and keeping this grater aside and now i'm putting this bowl inside it and trying to melt this you can see see this let me uh, increase the temperature of it and now it's melting started melting soap gets started melting it's boiling like anything so I've decreased the temperature now again I'm increasing the temperature now see see the texture see the uh, see the consistency of this melted soap now what we need to do is we need to took out this bowl into the handi so uh, i have switched off the induction and i'm keeping this aside or i'm keeping it over here only uh, and now i'm going to take a mold in the market molds are not available this time so I have taken uh, a lid of ice cream this upper lid of an ice cream cover and I'm what I'm going to do is now we need petroleum jelly Vaseline it will help him it will help the soap to uh, remove from the slit completely and spreading the Vaseline in this complete lid and now we need rose petals we need uh, four to six rose petals but before uh, taking petal leaves we'll take another mold as I have taken this for the another uh, 
so we'll uh, make two so we'll make two rows so one will be transparent and one will be stuffed filled uh, so so uh, again i'm putting this uh, vaseline petroleum jelly in this mold and spreading up so it will become easy for the soap now now we take rose petals i'm going to paste this rose petals like this i'm going to paste it like this you can also do the same you can decorate this mold by this beautiful petals as i am decorating this like so you can also decorate it like this i'm pasting here and what to do next is just simply put here now i'll take another one vaseline i've, I've already uh, put in over here now i'm decorating this one also with the help of the rose petals now i guess it's done so now you can see this i'm keeping both the molds aside now next step will be again we'll uh, go through this i'm switching on the induction putting the timer putting the th this temperature on and again it get start freezing now again it get start melting let it boil let it boil and i'm switching off the induction now we need a uh, a food color we need a food color homemade soap uh, doesn't have a much natural color so uh, we'll give it a natural pinch of red color so i have taken a red food color a pinch of food color you can see this a little pinch of food color and i'm putting inside it melt this and one more thing rose essence this is rose essence so that as we know this rose uh, has its own fragrance but still i'm using this for make it little more i guess i need to remove this lid then only i'll be able to put a drop of rose essence ah oh, it's lovely a few drops of rose essence now mix it well and now if i talk about an essence an essence helps add another layer of hydration to your skin and in a state of optimum health it's better able to support the direct benefits of your moisturizer see now i'm going to transfer this mixture into this mold you can see we'll make a transparent 
rose soap. And I'm going to put it this in a refrigerator. See this? How beautiful it is. It's looking lovely. Uh, I can um, just love it. And I'm going to keep this in a refrigerator for 45 minutes. Now, I'm putting this soap into this uh, refrigerator for 45 minutes. Now, get back to another soap uh, of rose. If you remember, we made the puree. Now it's time to uh, make another soap of rose. So I have taken this bowl, I have taken this puree, rose puree, which we made all together, I guess. I guess you people are also uh, joining me. I'm hoping this. Now, we required now Fuller's Earth, Multani Mitti. Um, in this, I have taken Fuller's Earth, Multani Mitti. I'll take a spoon of it, Multani Mitti. It helps in fighting acne and pimples, removes excess oil and sebum, deep cleanses skin, removing dirt, sweat and impurities. Brightens your complexion and effective in treating skin rashes, sunburns and all that. It helps in fighting skin infections, removes excess oil. Now we need third one that is aloe vera gel. Here it is aloe vera gel. Now I'm going to put this into the puree as it is a rich source of antioxidants and vitamins. Two, three, four drops are sufficient for this. One spoon you can take and mix it well. Aloe vera uh, used in uh, Ayurveda. Now, uh, this uh, batter is ready. Now, again, we need some more grated soap. So, uh, we'll grate this. We are left with this soap. So, I'm grating this again. Uh, in my childhood days, I love to do uh, this such type of a things. Now, I get it sufficient for this soap. You can see this is done. Lovely. Here it is. Now, with the same procedure, I'm going to put this grated soap into a bowl. Now here I have taken a bowl and a spoon and I am transferring this grated soap into it. This much is I guess sufficient as we have a small mold so we doesn't require much. See we have a small mold so that's why only again I am going to put this into it, it this handy and double boil the water double boil the soap switching on the induction putting and on the timer temperature setting up the temperature and you can see again the soap gets start melting I think I should increase the temperature.
see this it started melting generally uh, pure soap is the one which melts very easily as it is made up of pure glycerin as it contains 98% of glycerin which makes your skin healthy glowing soft and supple pear soap generally uh, suits to all type of skin tones whether it is normal combination oily dry sensitive as i am having a sensitive skin but still i'm using this it suits me a lot that's why i'm making a pure organic homemade soap see i need thing i we need to switch it off switch it on and increase sorry decrease the temperature and it's melting it will take your little time but you can engage yourself while doing this such type of a things it makes me feel happy when i used to make such type of th things especially in this lockdown period so you can also try this you will feel better and you will get the satisfaction that you are using our right one which is skin friendly for your skin a uh, little stir it fast otherwise the soap will be in its original form very soon i'm melting this it's done it's done we can leave this bowl inside it only for some seconds now it's done we need to put out this bowl and i'll mix this mix it well now mix it properly and take a mold which we have already uh, prepared and put this batter into this mold it contains a uh, multani mitti colors earth aloe vera gel rose puree which makes your skin very glowing refreshing and healthy let's let's uh, place it properly and keep this bowl aside and now i'm going to put this mold into the refrigerator now everyone it's time to make a neem organic soup so uh, if i talk about the neem you are very well aware about it our neem has an antibacterial property it has a uh, anti aging property it helps in fighting uh, acne and treating skin infections and injuries so basically neem uh, helps us in everything it is very useful for us especially in uh, fighting uh, with acne pimples and uh, it helps in uh, cleansing of uh, skin infections and so many things 
So everyone, do join me for the preparation of neem soap. So um, ingredients, if I'll talk about, we uh, didn't require much. First of all, we need uh, neem leaves. You can see here. And I have taken in a plate also neem, le neem leaves. And we need aloe vera gel. Only a single spoon of aloe vera gel we required. Vaseline. We need a Vaseline. A bowl, mold, we can say. And now, uh, now we need to start um, grinding these uh, leaves. So uh, I'll take a grinder. Here it is. And I'm putting these uh, neem leaves inside it. Not much washed it and then use i've already washed the leaves we only require this much of leaves you can see and uh, i'm putting this lid and i'm going to grind this now after grinding it i'll show you i'll transfer uh, this puree into a bowl you can see Now, I am going to transfer this puree into a bowl, into this katori. And as our mold is uh, not very big in size, so uh, we will take this much of puree. See the consistency of this puree. And the main thing um, about this homemade soap is this is very pure. It's very original. Nothing chemical should be mixed inside it. So uh, this gives us satisfaction uh, while we um, used to put anything on our face. Now um, the second thing is we need to break the soap like we did in um, Rose soap. So I'll take a grater and I'm going to take a soap. The piece of soap is still left. So I'm going to use this, place it nicely, and start grating it. Start grating it. Now, uh, it's done I guess, yes, still you can see it's left, I'm putting this again here, into this bowl, I'll take complete grated soap inside this, and I'll keep the grater aside. And I'm going to place the induction and double boil the water. Now I'm switching on the induction, setting the timer of two minutes, and I'm taking this soap, grated soap, inside it for melting with the help of this pure soap we'll be able to make a homemade soap which is really a uh, very nice neem soap we are preparing and neem leaves as you all know have antibacterial properties and it works wonders on skin infections, burns and any kind of skin problems.
it will take a little time. Neem also destroys the bacteria that causes infections, stimulates the immune system and encourages rapid healing. So now I think we need to uh, increase the temperature. I have increased the temperature. But still it will take a little time to melt. Now I am decreasing the temperature. Switching off the induction. And with the help of the uh, piece of cloth. I will hold this and put it over here. Now we need to take the puree of neem. As you can see its color is lovely. Green in color. Filled with anti-bacterial uh, properties. Now we need to take aloe vera gel. Combination of aloe vera gel and neem's uh, will be great. Half spoon you can take it. Actually it depends on the quantity of the soap. It depends on the size of the mold. As we have a small uh, size of mold over here. I have taken uh, this glass bowl. As I am not having that uh, much uh, silicon tray molds like we... Uh, see it in the market. Now I'll mix this mixture inside it and mix it well. Mix it well. If you want to make it more thick, you can add a little bit of aloe vera gel. Now mix it very nicely. See? So organic, so natural. Made with natural ingredients. Now we need to take up. See, I'm having uh, some diyas left. Uh, uh, when we have a Div Diwali last year. So some diyas are left in my home. So I've uh, taken diyas also. But let's see how much it works. I'll fill uh, this mixture into this also. I'm keeping over here. I'm taking this also. And now we need to take this petroleum jelly. And I'll apply it here on the, in the complete bowl. As well as the as also. Let's see how much it works. I'll show you after uh, making this. When it will get freezed. And I'll show you how it's looking. And how it works. Via will work or not. Now. Now uh, put this mixture into this beer <laughs> I'm doing experiment you can see let's see how much it works this much only I guess it's sufficient we'll make a small size so and the left puree will put it in this that's it and you can see here now you can see my homemade molds and I'm going to put this um, into the refrigerator you can see so uh, it will take at least uh, 45 minutes to freeze down and we'll see after it okay so everyone we'll see you after uh, so duration okay so um, everyone here I am and I'm back with my soaps and you can see here 
that my transparent soap which we made together is ready see how beautiful it is you can see it's very uh, natural so pure and you can uh, use it this is very safe for us and another one uh, firstly I will show you this see the stuffed one this soap multani mitti and aloe vera we mixed together with the rose puree and this is the soap you can see the soap it's very beautiful you will get the soap like this and another we have a pure neem soap you can see this pure neem soap actually when you will use the perfect mold for it so that it will uh, come in the form of uh, pure uh, nicely it will come in the right form so uh, right now I have used um, an ice cream lid that's why it's uh, side is little uh, cracking but when you, uh, when you will use your uh, that silicon uh, mold then you will get the right form of soap so here it is natural neem soap it's very safe for skin antibacterial soap you can see this you can use it this is very uh, pure and it will help to make your skin more uh, beautiful so here my soaps are and this one is a transparent soap with rose petals and this one we have with multani mitti aloe vera gel and rose petals um i have tried a coconut soap in my house also uh, once i'll show you that here i have coconut soap this small one i have tried in my home you can also try it it's very simple instead of putting neem and uh, rose petals you can put uh, uh, parachute uh, uh, oil inside the pure soap and you will get the coconut soap ready so it's very simple you can try it so thank you everyone for joining me you can try this in your home and I know you will get the best result now it's time to get a little more creative with Sana ma'am by doing mandala art so we welcome now Sana ma'am over here Hello everyone, I am Sara Salim from Bhati International School and today I am going to show you how to draw a mandala art. But first I want you to know that what mandala art is. Actually the word mandala derives from Sanskrit word that is mandal and the meaning of mandal is circle. So mandala is a circular art form and circular mandalas are the most commonly mandala designs nowadays. So today we are going to draw the mini mandala that is circular mandala this one so let's get start with it let me just show you some of my mini mandalas this one is a mini mandala a circular semicircular mandala these are semicircular mandalas you can see this one is colorful mandala you can use colorful pens as well the tiny details that has been filled in this circular mandala This we call it as an eye mandala, the circular eye we call it. This one is colorful mandala. For this mandala, for this space, you can use any decorative item that you wish. Like I have put in my uh, colorful flower over here or any other item if you wish for. This one, these are semi-circular mandalas. You can add the co colorful background in it and you can use some decorative items as well as you can add some glitter as well and these are mandala patterns this is a texture design made up of circular mandalas with colorful flowers so let's get start our mandala making so here we have our stuff that is scale you have your compass you have your angle protector sharpener eraser and your art line pens so I basically use this art line pens because they are very they have a very fine line for the you know for the detailing of mandala 
and you can also use art line doodle they come in various colors you can have uh, multiple colors to, uh, doodle pens so let's just start with the basic process so um, you can make the mandala design in any page or you can take the a4 size page i have or you can take the drawing sheet that we basically use or you can have your own drawing notebook whichever suits you best so here we have i'm going to make the mandala design on this drawing sheet so first of all the very first most step for the mandala art is to make circles so basically mandala is the art form that has uh, designs in the form of circles detailed designs you can make as much as circles you wish for so with you can add on the layers or but right now uh, i'm just going to make a mini mandala so i'm just going to make the four five circles not more than that so add this we have a point right on here just take the angle uh, uh, circular protector and then mark the points you can uh, mark the points with the gap of 1 cm or you can mark the points with the gap of 2 cm if you wish for the tiny detailings you know very minute detailing so you can at uh, the best shoot it a uh, gap is of 1 cm so we are going to point it out at each of the gap of 1 cm and what we are going to do after pointing out the points we are going to match the lines from the center to the angular points that we are done so for for not wasting so much time i have already made up this in the next sheet i have made the circles already and these were the angular points that we have marked and with the center point we have scaled down our lines you know just take a uh, trans a uh, transi scale because uh, with this type of scale uh, you won't be able to uh, you know mark it properly so uh, i think the best suited is this transi scale you can have so just uh, mark the points with each other so this is the basic mapping for mandala so now we are going to have our design let's just start with it uh, i basically start with the second or third one so for the second one this have a very uh, not it it doesn't have a, you know much space so what i'm going to do i'm going to make the circles here fill the each block with small circles see and then for the second one i'm going to mark it like this Just give a little bit curvy, curvy slanting line. You can say. See all the curviness. So we are done with it. This is the one side. The same we are going with the opposite. So you can. Uh, See, we have one gapping over here. So one gapping over here. We are going to mark with it, this one. Leave one and then mark. Then here, leave one. Sorry. See, we can see a very beautiful leafy pattern over here. See, in all, you can say we have left one one uh, gap, one one line gap. 
You can tilt it down. You can rotate your page according to your need. See, what I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm going to highlight it with the art line pen. See the circles. Now I'm going to highlight the leafy pattern that we have already made. Just give the smooth finish. You can rotate your page as for your convenience. See here we have a beautiful leafy pattern over here. So now let's just start with the second step third step now again if you want to use uh, direct with the pencil you can go for it but for the sake of um, vitamins I'll prefer pencil first same you can do with the, this one also but I'm not going to take a gap of one I'm going to have all curvy you can make the curvy line or you can make the straight slanting line, it's up to you. If you don't wish to, uh, you know, do the first this step, then second step, you can go with this as well. But I prefer this. See, we are done with it. Now, the second part. Just rotate your page according to your need. So here we are done with it. Moving on to next. Here we are going to have this pattern. Again the same pattern but with the So now I'm going to start direct to the pen. Just rotate your page according to your need. See, we have already marked one-sided pattern, so it will be a lot more easier to make the other side pattern. Keep rotating your page according to your design, your flow.
so we are done with our pattern now we are going to fill the voids so let's just do directly with the pen so it's starting from this one just divide it into two the center line the center point so we have done the dividing part what we are going to do we have to make lines over here leafy pattern do the same in each and every pattern just be careful Here we can see that we have filled the lines. Now let's just, we have filled the line. Now let's just fill the void of these circles. Draw the outline of the circle with a pen and then fill the void over here. Give a finishing touch. Just give the little bit of finishing touch with the circles as well. And do the same with the rest of the circles. So we have filled the void of the circle. So for here, for the voids over here, we can make small circles and fill it. Because after all, this one, we are going to erase our markings that we have done with the pencil so we have marked all the dots over here at the edges what else you can do you can add more designs just to beautify your mandala so let's just come with our second leafy pattern we are going to make a pattern of small leaves small curves like this okay, then the second one and same goes with the next two three four and five five leaf pattern We are going to do with the same, we are going to be uh, follow the same pattern with all these leafy pattern. We have done this pattern repetition again with our own leaves. So here we have completed our two patterns and, and the, the, the extra outline of this mandala. Moving on to next, uh, we will fill the void of these at the last. We are going to do the finishing in the last. Just moving on to the next pattern, this one, the first one that we have already done. You can just make dots or you can just, you know, you can just go with the, this, the, the same pattern that we have done over here. Just divide it into two. We have done the outline of the right section and in this we are going to the outline of the left section. Like this we are going to repeat this pattern in all these small leaves see we have done the opposite of this particular pattern we have repeated the pattern see we have finished with this line pattern over here we have just done the opposite of this particular pattern so now I'm going to do the section this section this particular section that we have the gap over these two leaves what we are going to do, we are going to make a circular motion over here. Now I am going to do it directly with the pen. It's 
up to you how many curls you wish to give it. I prefer only two curls. Otherwise, it will look so messy. If you feel like that the pencil outlines uh, looking so messy over here, you can erase it. But I prefer not to. Just wait. Just finish your uh, outlines of this. Uh, just finish the outline patterns. Then after on you can erase it. So we are going to repeat this particular pattern in all the leaves. So here we have done uh, with the, this pattern. So just to fill the void of this particular pattern, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, maybe just filling up with this design, small leaves. On your sheet if you wish for you can tilt it this is the same pattern that we have done over here but it's just the opposite of it the best part of mandala art is that you don't have to follow a particular rule you don't have to follow the particular pattern it's just your wish go with the flow which pattern you wish for and just go with it you can repeat the pattern and you can you know just tilt the pattern just change that particular pattern any pattern that you wish there is no such rule to make mandalas see we have finished with our pattern so we have almost covered our three main leaf pattern and the small one so moving on to the next one here this part we are just going to make the outline of this particular circle. See, when you do the outline, it automa automatically you can see you know, the finishing of this particular you know design. What we are going to do, we are going to fill these voids. It will give the better finishing. We are going to do the rest of it. See, after finish, after giving the finishing, uh, we have also given the outline of this particular circle. See, now for this leafy pattern, we are going to fill the void with this black one. And we are going to repeat it with each and every leaf, which each and every pattern. It will highlight our pattern. You need a lot more patience while performing a mandala. And believe me, you will feel good. Just try it once and you will yourself feel how much patience you need to make it and how much calm process this is. See, I have already done the detailing of it. Now just to give a more enhancing look, we can just add on line and a small dot over here. It will give, you know, uh, it will beautify our pattern. This uh, DP pattern, and we are going to repeat it with each and every pattern that we have just done. See, we are going to repeat it with everyone. See, here we have done the detailing of it as well as I have done the detailing while filling uh, dots, you know, black dots over here. And to enhance this design, I have made, filled it with black dots and its curves. So it will give it a more uh, enhanced, you know, you can uh, see clearly see the design over it and it will beautify the design as well. So for this one as well, what we, what we are going to do, we are going to close the edges like from here to here. We have closed the edges of this particular design. Repeat it with 
each and every leaf. What we'll do, we are going to fill the gap. It's kind of a silhouette. And to beautify it much more, what you can do, you can just mark it. Dash. If you can do it, just you can leave it up, but we have already done with uh, so many leaves, so we can't leave it all here. A touch of dash, just like a semicolon that we use. So, we are done with the detailing of this. What we are going to do, we are going to have the liner design, just mark it here. Just fill the void with the lines. We are going to fill it with the lines with all these voids. So we have filled it with the lines. The same pattern we are going to follow over here. Over this void space that we have. We are going to mark three lines following the same pattern that we have already done. See, we are going to fill it with this pattern. Here we are done with this pattern, the repetition of this pattern over here. Now we are going to fill the gap of this leaf. We are going to fill this pattern. What we are going to do, we are going to divide it again into two parts. All the leaves divided into two parts. And just give it a curl, small curl over here. One side. We are going to fill it with each and every leaf over here. See, we have added the curl left side of this corner so we are going to fill the void over here what we are going to do we are going to repeat the leafy pattern over here but, but we are going to take two patterns two strokes of it and we are going to fill the void as well just fill up the void and give it a curvy touch repeat the same in each leaf again See, we have done the detailing of all the patterns. Our mandala design is almost finished. But if you want to add some more details, you are free with it. If you want to fill the voids over here, you can use uh, the designs like here I'll tell you. You can use the designs. If this is a leaf, so you can use standing lines or you can just use a curve or whatsoever you want. And here a little a leaf or if you want to add if you want to divide it and just give a curvy line at the half of it and here you can make two curls and you can fill the void you can add any pattern over here I prefer to leave it alone because I leave it like that because we have already done the tiny detailings over here but yes to beautify it you can go for it so I, I'll be doing I'll be dividing it into two again as I have done it earlier our mandala design is almost finished we have given the detailing over here in, in the circle portion and here we have filled the voids with the lines you know slanting lines you can say uh, the next part is to beautify this particular mandala if you have a gem you can put it over here 
so just to beautify it or if you have a flower you can use the artificial flowers you can put it in the center and it will look way too good or or else what you can do you can use different colors of stones or gems you can say whichever suited your mandala or flowers decorative flowers you can also use see it will look creative it will look decorative as well you can use a different color so you can use anything to decorate your particular mandala so here we are you can use these decorative items for the center <coughs> this as well if, the, if it doesn't suit then choose any color that you wish for let me just give you the close look of this mandala you can decorate your mandala with some flowers or some stones you can say you can use it and here your mandala design is ready see i hope you all enjoyed making this mandala so keep practicing and keep learning and share your mandalas too thank you everyone